Good, whoops, hang on a second. Let's try that. There we go. Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from News Channel 3 in downtown Memphis. Camera stuff happens when you're doing these type of things. Sorry about that. We are live on our Periscope and Instagram pages, or Periscope and Twitter pages, I should say. It's been that type of morning, just don't have enough coffee yet. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us on our latest weather update. We are live with daybreak right now, just after 7 o'clock on Sunday morning. More of our weather bug information and all kinds of details, radar, go Jim go, all kinds of great stuff right here at wrag.com slash weather. Current conditions in the backyard, we've got numbers back in the mid-70s, cloudy skies and ramping up the chances of rain fall on the far right hand side over there to about 80 percent throughout the rest of the day so take the umbrella with you for today temperatures again expected to be back in the lower to mid 80s for the most part and then dropping into the 70s with chances of showers and thunderstorms so weather information located for you right there and we'll bring you more about the forecast coming up in just a little bit want to see more about what's going on on mars check out the remote environmental monitoring station from the curiosity rover 12 degrees was the high temperature just a couple of days ago and if you'd like to see what comes through with the weather information happens about every couple of days all you have to do is go to mars.nasa.gov for more information for more on exometeorology that's weather on other bodies in the solar system good opportunity to learn a little bit more about what's going on there give the computer a chance to catch up here we are still live it just takes the computer a little while to uh, crunch this much in here so we'll get to the radar here in just a second there we go we are looking again at light scattered showers north of i-40 we don't have a lot going on we do have again a lot more in the way of showers and thunderstorms taking place across southeastern arkansas and northern mississippi at the top of the hour that's again where we're seeing the heaviest activity all that moving its way to the northeast so making its way up the mississippi valley and into around north central portions of mississippi throughout the rest of the morning so we will see some sloppy commute times out there if you're heading to church sunday school or just out for whatever you're doing this morning windshield wipers operating your headlights have to be on that state law so remember let's all be careful out there rest of the day today mainly just cloudy skies Rhodes college campus in central memphis not seeing a lot of sunshine this morning a sliver of sunrise early on but that's about it as we look across the area this one from the weather underground camera network if you'd like to check that one out rain on the camera lens at crosby hall looking back toward the student union on the old miss campus in oxford mississippi and again, fairly quiet conditions out there for the most part, but we will be seeing uh, the possibility of even more showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Not seeing a lot of rain in the metro area just yet. Some more sprinkles out there. Mostly cloudy in Germantown. Temperatures back in the mid-70s, but nothing showing up in the rain gauge just yet. And fog also not too much of a problem either. Temperatures back in the lower to mid-70s throughout the rest of the morning, but chances of showers and thunderstorms will be possible into the rest of the morning and right on in through the early portion of this afternoon. So if you have any plans out there, again, the lower blue bar, that's showing the percentage possibility of showers and thunderstorms going from about 40% in the next hour to 70% by the time we head our way to around lunchtime today, which means any outdoor plans today, you might try to go ahead and keep them going, but unfortunately, it looks like you're going to have to move back indoors again. And remember, when you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are too close to the thunderstorm. You are within range of getting struck by lightning. So again, play it safe. Everybody back inside again. National Weather Service main phrase for this is when thunder roars, go indoors. So let's all stay safe on this as you head out the door and plan for whatever you've got going on across the Mid-South into the rest of the day. Let's run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on. Temperatures back into the mid-upper 70s as we look into around the rest of the forecast for the rest of the day today. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can get everybody in the mid-south in the picture showers and thunderstorms best possibility in the green orange and red categories the showers and thunderstorms will be developing drifting collapsing starting back over again and continuing that pulse method through we continue again to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms the greatest possibility will be this afternoon and into this evening so that'll be the peak heating time of the day and that's when the atmosphere will be at its most unstable and that's when more showers and thunderstorms will be popping up now by about dinner time tonight notice again there's not that much going on here we may see a bit of a lull taking place but then by about news channel 3 at 10 and right on into tomorrow morning about the time the news channel 3's todd demers is on the air with daybreak we may see some more widely scattered showers and thunderstorms that could linger into drive time tomorrow and that could slow things down uh, especially if you're traveling again to work getting ready for summer school whatever you've got going on 
allow for some extra time on Monday morning and for that matter by tomorrow afternoon. Chances of showers and thunderstorms will be around and about so it could be a sloppy commute to work and or school if that's where you're going and back home again as we go into tomorrow with temperatures once again aiming for the mid 80s. Plenty of the humidity out there but by Monday night early Tuesday morning we start to see everything clearing out by just a little bit. So not being so quiet the area for getting people for severe weather is going to be well to our north a slight risk category from indiana back into around new york state where that yellow polygon is located a lesser marginal threat in green from northeast missouri through about upper new york state less of a threat tomorrow just north of us for monday and then for tuesday not seeing a lot of anything going on for any part of the mid-south area so definitely good news on that with the severe threat staying well away a lot of people still doing clean up from the storms this last weekend. If you'd like to see an update on what actually happened, the final report on that is available from the National Weather Service in Memphis, and that's available on my Facebook page if you'd like to catch up on that. Showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the day today and unfortunately into tomorrow for most of the day into the evening. So outdoor plans, you're going to have to kind of pick and choose your moments and be very careful with lightning going on out across the Mid-South. Showers and thunderstorms should wrap up mostly Monday night, but by early Early Tuesday morning we could see a few lingering showers and thunderstorms out there and then as we go into the rest of Tuesday dry air makes its way in clears things out and keeps things very much on the comfortable side so we do have some decent days ahead Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday very mild for this time of the year back into the lower 80s that's doing pretty well that's not exactly an Arctic blast but at this time of the year as we're heading into summertime we'll take whatever relief we can where it comes to heat and humidity across the mid-south notice also that we don't have a lot going Going on in the way of shower and thunderstorm chances the rainfall amounts just really not picking up much of anything at this time for much of the rest of the week and into next weekend but notice that the temperatures between Thursday and Saturday will be bouncing very quickly back into the upper 80s not the 90s at least just yet and that is good news because of the fact that we again have the possibility of seeing very hot temperatures at this time of the year. That is not happening so far, so we'll take what we can get on those nicer temperatures, but as of right now, at least we'll get a couple of days where it's not going to be totally all-powerful all hot and humid, which is definitely good news for us going into the first week of June. Want to catch up to date on what's going on with the weather, key parts in the forecast, go to your whatever app store you've got and search WREG Weather and download our weather app today. Very handy temperatures, all kinds of great information. Catch my forecast Monday through Friday on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. Great opportunity to hear some great sports chat in the Mid-South and some great guests on there as well. And of course, all my social media networks, your opportunity to catch up with what's going on in and around the area. I'll have updates on your forecast, including the complete 7 to 10 day forecast. That'll be in just a few minutes on News Channel 3 Daybreak, finishing things up in our final hour here. I'll also have a look at at your opinions on what you think about the Paris Climate Agreement and how you discuss climate change, or if you do, or if you even care. That's the Twitter poll question of the day. You can still vote on that throughout the rest of the day today. And you can also take a look at what's going on in the tropics, and we'll have some of your pictures that you have sent in from around the Mid-South and points beyond some really great ones of the storms last night, and we'll show those to you coming up in just a bit on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Live and direct on Periscope and Twitter. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a complete weather update, our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak in about the next few minutes and throughout the rest of the day and into tonight on News Channel 3 on air and online.